alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, I have visited Darul Uloom Jamia Akalkua today, Tuesday, the 17th of October 2023. Alhamdulillah, for the past two days, I've been visiting many, many different far flung villages of Maharashtra. And these are places where you have settlements of 40 houses. 100 houses, 200 houses of Muslims. Some of them are exclusively Muslim, others are mixed with Hindus and other faiths. Alhamdulillah, the madrasa system is such that all of the children of these villages who, had it not been for the efforts of the Jamia itself centrally, these children would not have had any sort of Islamic instruction. So Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah, after two days of traveling, we came to the Meta Alma, the Alma Meta itself, Jamia Islamia Kalkua. We arrived yesterday, subhanAllah, late into the night. And this morning after Fajr, Alhamdulillah, we have been touring the facilities. And what facilities, subhanAllah, amazing, amazing um, students, teachers, and the organizational structure of this institution is, I would think, on a level on par with probably something like UN or something of that sort. And I would not be, um, and that would not be sort of overestimating the capacity held by the admin processes that are in place. You have medical colleges, you have technical colleges, you have engineering colleges, and these are places where children learn, they educate themselves, they grow and they are nurtured, subhanAllah, until they become individuals who are able to succeed and flourish in any setting, alhamdulillah. This afternoon we were at the achievement ceremony or the passing out ceremony of a technical college. So this is where the youngsters, they learn technical skills for use in factories and workshops, mechanical engineering, electrics, plumbing uh, and the like. And Alhamdulillah, thumma Alhamdulillah, you could see the brightness in the eyes of these students and the appreciation that they feel for the institute and how their lives Subhanallah are being transformed in this Islamic setting. I mean, apart from all of these huge, huge achievements over the past uh, 35 years or so, sometimes it's the small things that actually catch your eye. We were shown a project of the mobile classroom. Alhamdulillah, we've heard of mobile libraries, we've heard of mobile clinics, eye, eye clinics, mobile everything else. But this mobile classroom, subhanAllah, it has an awning, a shelter that retracts from the side and they go around visiting different, different villages where they focus especially on those children who are, for whatever reason, dropouts from the classroom. And in an interactive way, subhanAllah, inside there's an interactive board and seating for approximately 18 to 20 children. And on the outside, subhanAllah, you've got the awning and another screen, which is an outside classroom. And it is just amazing and heartening to see children who would otherwise have not had, or would not have been educated in any way whatsoever. Children who would have been left to the mercy of the streets. They are being brought in and being educated. And this reminds us of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that my greatest intercession, shafa'ati al-kubra, it is going to be for ahlul kabair, those people who commit the greatest sins. So for us, subhanallah, to reach out to the fringes of our communities, of those children who could very easily be lost, and especially in a place like India and in states like the Maharashtra state where poverty, subhanAllah, is 
on a world class level, we need to face this challenge with ideas and solutions that are also on a world class level. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this madrasa, the, the efforts that this madrasa is producing and, and uh, doing. And also, we are extremely thankful and make dua for the muassis, the founder of this madrasa, Hazrat Molana Ghulam Sab Wastanvi, and uh, Hazrat Hafiz Ishaq Sab Wastanvi, and the generations who are to come who are taking over the management, supervision, and the development of the programs that the madrasa is undertaking. Jazakumullahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.